David Hasselhoff and Night yeah. Rider right there. The iconic Woo. kick car yes. is oh. up for auction along with yeah. some of David's other legendary memorabilia. He is here to tell us all about it. Great to see you. Oh, oh. the hot. I'm so Great to excited. see you guys. Great to see you too. Listen, we yeah, are I'm pumped. so excited. You know what? Come, yeah. Coming off of that no, clip, like, I got to so tell weird. you, David, was, that, that just takes me back to my childhood. I had the Hot Wheel. I so wanted that oh. Pontiac later on in the song. Every it was the best. You know, I still remember I did a commercial. My first commercial was in German. Ich habe euch die Menge von und Action Mitterbrock. Hot Wheels von Mattel. <laughs> wow, that was good. It was Hot Wheels. It was so weird. <laughs> I still remember that, you know. But look, look what happened to Kid. I think he went in the washing machine and got small. Uh, see, oh, yeah. how cool Shrunk is that? Him up. Shrunk him up. Looks oh, like I want to get that for my boys. Yeah. <laughs> You, are, you know, uh, you're going to have to bid on this because, I mean, we got, we got the Knight Rider car. We got the Knight Rider picture. We got the Knight Rider license plate ah. oh. right here. <laughs> Listen. Yep. And we, <laughs> we got the Knight Rider car. We got stuff from Baywatch. We got the Baywatch posters. I mean, we got everything from Baywatch and Knight Rider. As a matter of okay, fact, well, I just David, hold on, this hold over. On. Before we get to the, <laughs> before you walk us through the commercial, hold on, we got to talk about Knight Rider, the show, brother. Because wasn't it, didn't it just make Go you ahead. the most watched person in Guinness Book of World Records? You know, um, Knight Rider, it's still relevant today. I mean, the cars actually drive themselves. They actually park themselves. They actually talk to you. Everything that we did in the Knight Rider car has come true, except the fact that the Knight Rider car was William Daniels. He was an actor. And I never did a scene yeah, with William, William Daniels. I never did it. Michael, I met <laughs> William Daniels last Sunday. I went to his house. Really? He's 93 years old. He, was star he starred in St. Elsewhere. St. Elsewhere. And he was Mr. Sweeney when Boy yeah. Meets World. A little mustache. And he's an incredible guy. I saw him on Broadway in 1776, and he went, hello, come in. And I went, good God, that's Michael. That's Kit. And I walked into his house, and he goes, nice to see you. It's really great. Thank you. And it was like, it was like talking to the Kit car, but he was a person. And... That's it's awesome. Amazing. I, so, love, I love those kind that, of stories because he was essentially like your Bosley, like uh, in Charlie's Angels. And what did the kit? Yeah. I remember Kit stood for something. Was something Industry 2000? I can't remember the K. Night. Night Industry. Night Industry 2000. See, I remember. And night the most Industry famous 2000. show was Kit. Kit versus Car was the Night Automated Roving Robot. Wow. <laughs> car and Kit. Car and Kit. Yeah, that was the highest rated show. But, uh, you know, it, maybe it takes you back to your childhood, but it takes me back to when I was 28 and I got that role because that, that script glowed in my hands. Everyone said, it's a stupid show about a talking car. I said, no, no, this is James Bond. Right. This is it. Yes. This is my ticket. And 36 years later, we're still talking about Knight Rider. And I mean, I've got the Kit car, Knight Industry 2000 for sale. Wow, that's I don't know. Amazing. I'm not sure that I'm okay with it being for sale, other than the fact that someone's going to be able to walk away <laughs> as the new owner. But now, are they talking about a new movie or a new show for Knight Rider? They tried the show before. Yeah. I know that. Well, we tried. Uh, I tried the show for about ten years, and uh, but now the moon's in the seventh house, and Jupiter is aligned with Mars. I know that's right. They're making a movie. They're making a movie, and the timing is right. And so either we wait and see if I'm in the movie, if I sign off on the movie. Yeah. If not, I go the other route and go to television, maybe do a little Cobra Kai type thing with the, uh -oh. uh, the TV series. However, the movie is being written by a guy named T.J. Fixman. T.J. Fixman sat in the Knight Rider car at Universal when he was eight years old, and he wrote me a letter saying, maybe now you'll follow me. <laughs> wow, that's a great story. On Twitter. And he's writing it. So 
The moon's in the seventh house, and Jupiter's aligned with Mars. We'll see. We will see in the next. Is it just six, me? Is it just me, or do you feel I'm like you want to stand up and just like dance with David? I don't know. Like, is the the whole the energy you're giving right now? I just feel like we need to match. Woo. He's got a lot of energy. You know, it's, it's you know what? Uh, it, it's interesting, David, because you're right. Elon Musk basically created his own kit car, and now it's going to be available for the masses. Did. So it is pretty relevant uh, as of today. So I look forward to that. But uh, you've you've literally made television history because you're in two iconic shows that right. will stand the test of time with both Knight Rider and, of course, Baywatch. And there's a documentary um, that's going to be coming out soon on Baywatch. What are we going to be covering? What can we expect? Well, I think you're going to expect the truth, you know? I mean, I think the world needs the truth right now. And I think that uh, we all told the truth. I told the truth about my relationships with everybody in the cast, especially with Jeremy Jackson. You know, and, and we, we, we told the truth about how we all loved each other and how we all supported each other and how we all went through the, a, a tumultuous time, you know? And, and America is going through the same time right now. We need the truth. We need to connect with each other. We need to, to hold each other's hand and say, hey, man, how you doing? You know, come on. Let's go. That's what Knight Rider was about. That's why so many kids related to Knight Rider, because that car was the perfect parent, and I got to drive the car, and everybody <laughs> wanted to be me. <laughs> I love that, you so That's true. Much. Everybody so, did want to be you. 100%. 100%. But you know what? The, the, the most fun was when they looked over and they said, action, David. And I just got to drive the car, knowing that every car on the road was a stunt car, and I could drive as fast as I wanted. And they put WD-40 on the wheel so it could spin out. I was like going, oh, my God, this is heaven. <laughs> and you know what? We lasted 92 hours, and uh, hopefully it'll come back and be a big movie, and I'll be a part of it. We'll now, see. listen, okay, if, it, if they do the movie again, would Kit this time around be the Tesla? You know, I don't know. Maybe you should do the voice of Kit. <laughs> I'll be down. <laughs> hey, Michael, this is, this is Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Let yeah. me demonstrate. Well, we, we want to get to some yeah, of your memorabilia, David, but we got to take a quick little break. We are back with the legend TV icon, David Hasselhoff. Uh, David Hasselhoff, who's got some uh, memorabilia up yep. for auction. And we're getting a little sneak peek right yes. now. Yes. David? Uh oh. Yes, sir. Whoop. Oh, we can hear you, sir, can but you're a little us? frozen. We're gonna, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, there, cool. So we, you, you've got some, some items up for auction. We've got this uh, life sized yes, Hoff. Standee. Is this right, right, right behind your shoulder? Yeah. yeah. This is a life size David Hasselhoff, <laughs> almost a life size, that I signed. You know, I went to my warehouse and it was like going to my funeral. It was like I kept everything for like maybe a Hoff festival, like this billboard, <laughs> you know? David. And I kept everything. And, and yes, sir. No, 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 finish your story first, please. Well, I went to my warehouse, and I felt like I was going to my own funeral. And so I drove away. I couldn't handle it because I had everything from a previous life. A previous life was Knight Rider. It's still pertinent today. And now a previous life was some people stand in the darkness, Baywatch. So I looked at everything I had, including the posters, I mean, including the billboards from uh, Hop, the movie. I was in Hop. I played Hoff Knows Talent. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like I kept everything because I thought maybe someday I would have a Hoff Festival. So I thought, why not take this and sell most of it, give the money to charity? And um, I am. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I've got so much stuff that has been collected that no longer am I going to be going to my funeral, but I'm going to my auction. There you go. And you guys can bid and have a little piece of Knight Rider, now, awesome. what about, which is the Knight Rider car. What about yes. the SpongeBob yes. situation? SpongeBob? Well, the SpongeBob guy, I've got <laughs> Big Dave. <laughs> Big Dave is a 13 and a half foot version of David Hasselhoff and oh, wow. 750 pounds. They made a statue of me. And I, there it is. Oh, and I God. said, 
<laughs> I want it. What are you going to do with that? They said, do you want it? I said, yeah, I want it. I definitely want it. <laughs> so I, I wrote a, uh, out a, a piece of paper that was legal and gave it to them, and they signed it, and it's at my house. So Big Dave's going, the Knight Rider car, my own car, Kit, the Knight Industry 2000 is going, the pedal car is going, the Knight Rider license plate is going, the car is going from the Knight Rider, the shorts that I wore in SpongeBob is going, the, the script, the Knight Rider uh, game, the photograph of Baywatch, wow. Baywatch, and then this, this one, I just found, I said, oh, that's nice, we should put that out. And it's signed by everybody oh, in the cast. Oh, wow, that's Very awesome. Cool. David Chokichi, Kelly Packard, <laughs> and Carmen Electra. It's so cool, huh? David, I want to ask if you've got something. I want to ask if you've got something. You may yeah. not have it here. You may have it back at home. But one memory I have as a, as a child that's vivid, it, during the Cold War, mm -hmm. Berlin Wall, yep. you're with a jacket that hat that lights up. And you're singing, and you're part of history. Yeah. I remember Reagan when he's, and, and you had to be the most, the most recognized person, famous person in the world at that point. And that was, I mean, you were literally a part of history. Yeah. Did you save any part of that wall? And is that for sale? If not, what you do you don't. remember about that time? I remember chopping down the wall, and uh, staying up till like three or four in the morning, and chopped down pieces of the wall. Came back and gave it to the cast. It's a little piece of freedom. Hmm. And those pieces of the wall are worth $1,000 a piece now. Wow. I have a chunk of the wall that I just found yesterday at my home. And you know what? You've given me a great idea. I think it's going to go for auction because the jacket that I wore and I sang to a million people on the wall, I've been looking for freedom. Hey! Yeah. They went crazy. Yeah. And I wore this cheesy jacket with lights on it. Right. You know what? I can't sell that. No, it's you can't. In my no. Clo it's in my living room. It's in my living room. There's a, there, there, the, there's a picture. I mean, it was like the cheesiest jacket ever. <laughs> <laughs> And to this day, I'm going, why did I wear that stupid it jacket? Was the 80s. Why was my <laughs> hair so long? Why did I wear that stupid jacket? It was the 80s. Exactly. Anything goes, exactly. you know? Exactly. And I sang to a million people. It was a part of freedom, man. And, you know, that's what life's about. Yeah. Life's about the truth. Life's about the truth. The truth. I love that. Oh, so part of the walls are sale. That is right? awesome. We got Wait, history no, here. No, he said, I found it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> At my house. David, man, it is always so good I to see you, brother. I did. I found this big brother. chunk. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, Thank you man. very much. And, uh, you know, I'll be, I'm dancing all the way, uh, all the way home. Well, congratulations on Please everything. Please come to the auction. Thank you very much. We'll and be checking it out, David. And thank you very much for having David. me on. And, uh, God bless. You too. Take God care, bless God. you too. And listen, you, please brother. be sure to check out Live Auctioneer's website for more information about David's auction.